Welcome back to the man cave. We have here a 05 Lexus RX 330 that has a little bit of a coolant leak at the radiator. Um, I've taken a look at it and if you look right here, we'll get a picture of this for you so that you can see it. You can clearly see that it's leaking right here where the um, radiator comes together right here. So we're going to go ahead and pull this radiator out. I've got a radiator to replace it. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove this engine cover panel right here. We're going to do that by pulling up on this middle little tab right here. And that will allow this pin to come free and come out of there. There are four of these little clips that hold this panel on. And then it just comes off and we're just going to set it off to the side. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lift this car up and drain the coolant out of this radiator. So we're going to go ahead and pull this cover right here off so that we can get the, to the bottom of this radiator. So now that we've pulled the eight bolts that hold that cover on, there is a petcock right here that has a tube sticking out. I will put a picture of it on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hose and I'm going to stick it up in here and cover it over the outlet for that radiator drain. And then We'll reach up in here and turn this petcock and it should start to drain. There she blows. We'll go ahead and let that drain and then we'll come back and continue. Now that we have the radiator drained, the next thing that we're going to do so we're going to go ahead and remove this cover right here and it's got a couple of little clips in it as well and for me the easiest thing to do with these is just reach behind them and push the middle part of them up in there and then they'll just come right out we've got one of these on each side it looks like it had one in the middle as well at some point and then we're going to pull this air intake off and we're going to do that by pulling these two bolts right here. Now what we want to do is move this radiator upper radiator support back and out of the way and there are several bolts that we're going to pull to do that first thing i'm going to pull is this bolt right here it goes to this other air intake tube and then we're going to pull the bolt so that this bracket will slide forward so we have this little cap right here get a screwdriver back behind it and it'll pull out and then we're going to pull a nut and a bolt off of this support. And then this thing will move up out of the way so that we can actually get to the top of the radiator. Now, I'm gonna unplug this electrical from right here. Just wanted to get stubborn. So I've decided that instead of pulling all these wire clips, I'm going to pull that one bolt right down there and I'm going to pull this whole piece out of the way and move it up out of the way. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unclip this wire harness right here and that'll let that move up out of the way and that will separate my fans from the car so I can pull the entire fan assembly out. So next we're going to pull these two bolts here that hold the radiator and the fan assembly together. Well, we've lifted this car back up. Um, we have a couple of bolts that are right up in here that hold this um, fan assembly on the car. I'm going to go ahead and pull those off and then we're going to pull this fan out through the top 
and then we'll disconnect the radiator hoses and pull the radiator out. The next thing that we're going to do is pull this upper radiator hose off and get it out of our way. I'm just going to pull it back away from the radiator. I'm not going to remove it from the block. Sometimes these can get a little tricky to remove, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and twist it. There it goes. Once we get it where it'll twist, they'll usually just come right up out of the way. And then this fan unit should come up out of here. We'll just set it off to the side. The next thing that we're going to need to do is to remove these transmission cooler lines. Then we're going to separate the condenser from the radiator by removing this bracket right here and right here. And then this radiator will just come up out of there. So we are going to remove these transmission cooler hoses. And then we're going to remove this lower radiator hose. I've got a pan up underneath of here so it'll catch all the stuff so it doesn't wind up on my floor. And uh, then we'll pull that radiator out of the way. We also need to separate the radiator from the condenser by removing some of these screws here and getting this up out of the way. And now that we have this radiator loose so that we can move it around a little bit, there are two of these brackets that are just almost identical to this down on the bottom. So if you lift this radiator and the condenser up just a little bit and slip it where they come forward to right here, then you can actually get to the bolts so that the radiator will slip out. And then I like to just leave that radiator right there where it's at. And when I put the new radiator in, that allows me to get to those bolts when I put it back together. And putting this back together is basically the reverse procedure of taking it apart. Thanks for spending a little time with us here in the man cave. Appreciate you watching our videos. Please hit the like or subscribe buttons and also leave comments. I will try and respond to your comments and leave me ideas for videos and I will try and make them happen.